Understanding Counterespionage, a deep dive into the world of secret intelligence. Hello, everyone, welcome to today's video. We are going to explore a fascinating and often mysterious topic in the English language, counterespionage. This term might sound complex, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how it's used in real-world contexts. So, let's embark on this intriguing journey together. In this section, we'll dissect the term counterespionage. It's a compound word, made up of counter and espionage. Counter generally means against or in response to. Espionage refers to the practice of spying, especially by governments to gather political or military information. So, when put together, counterespionage means actions taken to prevent or defend against espionage activities. It's a crucial part of intelligence work in many countries. Now, let's delve into the historical context and modern relevance of counterespionage. It has been a part of global history for centuries, becoming particularly prominent during events like World War II. In today's digital age, counterespionage also involves safeguarding against cyber spying. This section will help you understand how the term evolved and is applied in current times. Counterespionage isn't just a part of real-world intelligence. It's also a popular theme in movies, books, and TV shows. Here, we'll explore how counterespionage is depicted in popular culture. This will not only make the concept more relatable but also show how it has influenced public perception of intelligence work. In this section, We'll discuss how to use the word counterespionage in everyday language. Although it's a term mostly related to intelligence and military, it can sometimes be used metaphorically or humorously in regular conversations. Examples and phrases will be provided to help you understand and use the term confidently. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has demystified the concept of counterespionage and enriched your English vocabulary. Remember, language learning is an ongoing journey, and you're doing great. Stay curious, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.